is going on and welcome back to the drum shed. We're going to be looking at a little bit more of an advanced topic today. More advanced because it's in a very odd time signature. It's N5. And also we're going to be dealing with the concept of grooves that go over the bar line. So all grooves don't resolve every measure. So often we get used to these grooves that happen once. It's a one measure instance and then it repeats, you know, until the chorus. But that's not always the case. A lot of times we have grooves that last three, four, five, six measures long and then they loop around, all right? So this, that's what this is going to do. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw yesterday I put up a little 15 second teaser. If you don't follow me, you can find the link below this video to my Instagram page and you can follow me on there. The only reason would be is I post little snippets of video usually four or five times a week. It's sometimes a, uh, a trailer to the email lesson that'll come out, sometimes a uh, glimpse of what we'll be looking at on the YouTube channel. So be sure and follow me there, the link's below this. All right, so let's get down to brass tacks of what we're going to be looking at. 6-8 is a more common time signature for us. How would we count 6-8? It would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now this is in 5-8. Five 5-8 eight. Five is going to be counted just like 6-8. Just take a number away. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, this groove in particular is cool because what's going to happen is between the kick and the snare, you have a groove that's going to loop every measure. So, goo goo two, three, four, five, goo goo two, three, four, five, goo goo two, three, four, five. That's going to be the same. Now, what's happening over here in the hi hat? The hi hat is a little bit different because the hi hat is going to come, if we're in 5 8, it's going to go. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so it's going to come every other beat. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. That's a two measure loop. So we have a one measure loop between the kick and the snare, a two measure loop on the hi hat. On the cowbell, or you can play this on the ride cymbal if you want to. The cowbell is going to be a three measure loop. I know, it's like a math problem. I said yesterday on the Instagram, I said on the Instagram post, I said, we'll be solving this math problem. It really is like a math problem because we have this one measure loop, a two measure loop, and then a three measure loop here. The way this three measure loop happens is imagine a three sticking. And on the one of every that's three sticking, that's where you're gonna hit. So if we're in one, two, three, four, five, it's gonna go one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one. So that takes three measures to loop around. That rhythm, count it with me. One and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and one. So at that third measure, the end of third measure, that fourth measure, we come back down and that rhythm cycles around. Because we have a one measure groove here, a two measure groove here, our rhythm, and a, two, a three measure rhythm here, we're actually going to have to play this groove six times for it all to come together. So we're going to have to play six measures of 5-8 before this groove will cycle back around. So this is a six measure groove. The thing that throws it into a six measure groove is the hi-hat. Because when the hi-hat is done, we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Well, that's the end of that measure loop there. But if you'll see in the next measure, what happens with the hi-hat? It doesn't hit on the one like it does. The, it hits on the two. So for it all to cycle back around and come to the beginning of the groove, we have to play this thing for six measures. Now I'm going to play the individual parts with the click so that you can hear how they sound. The kick part, real quick before I play it for you, is going to come on the one and the and. Even though this is in 5-8, little side note, I am going to count it with ands because it's easier for me to go one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five. And even though it's in 5-8, it's easier for me to count it like that. So the kick drum is going to go one and two and three and four. So every one and the kick drum hits, every four the snare drum hits. So one and two and three and four and five and boom, boom, two, three, four, five, boom, boom, two, three, four, five. I'm going to play each of the individual parts for you, then I'll put it all together.
Now we've got the hi hat. And now the ride cymbal or the cowbell part. So what's the purpose of all of this? Why do we need to work on all of this ambidextrous stuff to be able to play all these different rhythms? Well, it helps us hear over the bar line and hearing over the bar line is just another step in kind of your musical journey and the musical process to be in, to be able to create and to play things longer than one measure segments. So take this, break the parts out. Remember we have a one bar loop here in the kick and snare, a two bar loop here on the hi-hat and a three bar loop here on the ride cymbal or the cowbell, which all work together to make a six measure loop all together in 5-8. I know, I know it's higher math, but you know what, sometimes we gotta do that to get to where we wanna go. If you're interested in kind of taking these lessons further, you can always swing by the tour page of the website and check out what we actually do there at the drum shed. We have a full drum school, uh, online drum school, where we have live lessons five times a week, we have student reviews. We have a vault with over 400 half hour lessons in there with sheet music. We have play alongs. We have student tracks. We got student syllabus. We got a beginner section. We got a song. We got a ton of stuff for you guys and ladies to further your playing. If you ever got any questions, email me, Stephen at stevensdrumshed.com. And if not, we'll see you here. Go to the Instagram page. You want to catch those 15 second clips. They're nothing but fun. We'll see you.